we humans have always been drawn to the mysteries of the universe. From the earliest astronomers who mapped the stars to the modern scientists probing the very fabric of reality, our curiosity has pushed us to question, to explore, and to understand. We have reached out into the infinite expanse, seeking answers to questions much larger than ourselves. Our endeavors have led us to uncover some of the universe's most profound secrets, and yet so much remains unknown. But among us, there was one who dared to venture further into these mysteries than anyone before him. One man who sought to decode the grand design of the universe, and his name was Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking, a name synonymous with cosmology, had humble beginnings. Born in Oxford, England in the early 40s, Hawking was raised in a household that valued knowledge and learning. His family, though not wealthy, was intellectually rich. His father was a medical researcher, his mother a secretary in a medical research institute. Even as a young boy, Hawking showed a keen interest in the mechanics of the universe. His fascination with mathematics and physics was evident, and he spent countless hours immersed in books on these subjects. His curiosity was insatiable, and it was this curiosity that would later drive his groundbreaking research. When it came time for university, Hawking was drawn to the University of Oxford. He was eager to study mathematics, but the university didn't offer it as a major at the time, so he chose physics instead. This choice, as it turned out, was fortuitous. It was at Oxford that Hawking began to delve deep into the mysteries of the cosmos, setting the stage for his later work. Yet, just as Hawking was beginning to make his mark, life threw him a curveball. At the tender age of 21, he was diagnosed with a rare form of motor neurone disease. This illness would gradually rob him of his physical abilities, confining him to a wheelchair and forcing him to communicate through a computer. But instead of deterring him, the diagnosis seemed to have the opposite effect. It sharpened his focus and intensified his resolve. He once said, my expectations were reduced to zero when I was 21. Everything since then has been a bonus. These words reflect his resilience and determination he refused to let his physical condition define him or limit his intellectual pursuits. Despite his diagnosis, Hawking continued his journey, a journey that would lead him to the secrets of the universe. In his quest for understanding, Hawking embarked on developing a theory, a theory of everything. This was not a mission taken lightly, nor was it a simple task. The theory of everything, as envisioned by Hawking, was a grand proposal to explain all physical aspects of the universe under a single unifying concept. At the heart of this ambitious undertaking was his groundbreaking work on black holes. These cosmic phenomena, once thought to be voracious, all-consuming entities, were redefined by Hawking's research. He proposed that black holes are not just cosmic vacuums, but rather, they hold the key to understanding the universe's deepest mysteries. This insight led to the discovery of what we now know as Hawking radiation. Named after the man himself, this theoretical prediction suggests that black holes, contrary to previous belief, can emit particles. This was a radical departure from the then accepted view of black holes as entities from which nothing could escape. The concept of Hawking radiation was instrumental in shaping the theory of everything. It suggested that black holes could provide a bridge between the two biggest theories in physics, general relativity, which explains the universe on a grand scale, and quantum mechanics, which describes the world of the very small. Hawking's work on black holes and Hawking radiation hinted at the possibility of a theory that could reconcile these two seemingly incompatible frameworks. It was a daring proposition, a monumental challenge that Hawking willingly faced. His goal was to formulate a theory that could explain everything from the dance of galaxies to the spin of subatomic particles. One cannot overstate the significance of this pursuit. A theory of everything would not just revolutionize our understanding of the universe, it would redefine our place within it, and it would offer a unified vision of reality, a single framework that could explain the entirety of existence. In his relentless pursuit, Hawking had laid the foundation for a theory that could potentially unlock the mysteries of the universe. His work continues to inspire scientists and thinkers around the world, driving us closer to that elusive theory of everything. The theory of everything, as proposed by Hawking, aimed to unify the fundamental forces of nature. 
This ambitious aspiration in essence sought to find a single theoretical framework that could explain everything in the universe. Let's break it down a bit. The theory of everything, often abbreviated as 2OE, is a hypothetical framework that integrates all the physical aspects of the universe into one all-encompassing theory. It's like finding a common language that both quantum mechanics, the rules governing the very small particles and general relativity, the laws for the big stuff like stars and galaxies can both understand and agree upon. This is where things get a tad complex yet fascinating. Quantum mechanics and general relativity are like two sides of the same coin called physics, but they don't quite get along. They each do a terrific job explaining the universe at their respective scales, but when they cross paths, things get a bit chaotic. The theory of everything is essentially a peace treaty between these two. Hawking's theory proposes that at the very beginning of the universe, at the moment of the Big Bang, everything was compressed into a single, infinitesimally tiny, infinitely dense point known as a singularity. Here, the laws of physics as we know them break down. This singularity, Hawking suggested, could be described by integrating the principles of quantum mechanics and general relativity. The implications of this theory are profound. If we truly can reconcile quantum mechanics and general relativity, we would, in theory, have a complete understanding of the fundamental workings of our universe. We could answer questions about the origin of the universe, the nature of time, and the eventual fate of our cosmos. But keep in mind the theory of everything is still just that, a theory. It's an elegant idea, a beautiful mathematical dream, but it has yet to be proven. Hawking's theory of everything, while yet to be proven, has fundamentally changed our understanding of the universe. It has pushed us to ask the big questions, to challenge our understanding, and to strive for a deeper comprehension of the cosmos. Stephen Hawking, despite his departure from this world, has left an indelible mark on cosmology. This remarkable theoretical physicist enthralled us with his profound understanding of the universe and his legacy continues to inspire scientists and curious minds across the globe. Hawking's work has had a profound impact on the scientific community. His theories on black holes and the nature of the universe have revolutionized our understanding of cosmology. He introduced us to the concept of Hawking radiation, a theoretical prediction that black holes aren't completely black, but emit small amounts of thermal radiation. This groundbreaking idea bridged the gap between quantum mechanics and general relativity two pillars of modern physics that are often at odds with each other. But Hawking's influence extends far beyond the ivory towers of academia. He had a unique ability to make complex scientific ideas accessible to the public. His popular science books, such as A Brief History of Time and The Universe in a Nutshell, have sold millions of copies worldwide and have been translated into over 40 languages. Hawking didn't just write about science. He told stories about the universe that captured our imaginations and made us wonder about our place in it. Hawking was also a tireless advocate for people with disabilities, demonstrating that physical limitations do not define one's potential. Despite being diagnosed with a rare form of motor neurone disease at the age of 21, which left him almost completely paralyzed, he continued to delve into the mysteries of the universe until his last breath. His legacy serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration, reminding us that the human spirit is capable of transcending any obstacle. His tenacity, brilliance, and courage have made him a symbol of human determination and curiosity. Stephen Hawking, a man who dared to look beyond the visible universe, has left us with a theory that could one day explain everything.